Okay, so the other day I had a match where my teammates had a lot of bonus health. And the enemies had two Leander's Torments. This bothered me during the match, and I thought, wow. Those are really gold efficient Leandry's torments all up in this match. This led to me constructing this new strategy in my dreams that should be applicable in most top lane and I guess mid lane scenarios where Leandry is built. Okay, so now you know you may be one you are wondering, Cream Gunner, what the fuck is this strategy? You know, how do I do this? This genius, you're brilliant. You're, so you're actually just going to want to not build health to counter Leandry's Torment. And here's the math and this is how you do it. So is there anything Camille can even do about this? Now I know that you are already aware that Lee Andrews is good against tanks. The reason for this video is I was wondering if you don't build health with this count on Lee Andrews. A lot of matches, both enemy mages will have Lee Andrews, and by situationally going a more damage oriented build, you might have a better opportunity to get more damage out over time, even on more bruiser slash tank slash sustain health reliant champs. This was what I was wondering. And I, I confirmed it. This is a real thing. Keep in mind health efficiency is increased by resistances, so if you have a lot of resistances, HP is still good. So now, what if Camille bought AD and a magic resist and avoided health items? Instead of her usual Trinity Force into Hydra, what if she rushed Hydra to avoid building health to counter the Leandries? This alone can make Leandries become a non-gold efficient item for multiple enemies. So, you know, they would, they would have a lot better options going a different item if you do the strategy, actually. And so it's, you know, you actually can get a lot more gold efficiency out of it if you, if you factor this into your build path. Alright, here's the math. Okay, so you start Longsword anticipating Leandri's rush, and this will allow you to buy Mercs and Hydra for 200 gold more than the usual Trinity Force, Tier 1 Boots, Thorns Blade, and then you take non-HP runes. Um, I haven't calculated that if that's actually good or not, but uh, I'd assume it would only make the strategy stronger. She'll be back to only taking 74.5 damage per Leandri proc. Now, I don't play Camille, and I would assume Trinity Force is still good damage. She probably needs the attack speed or something, but... Um, so you will have an extra 25 attack damage and 12% life steal with this build. If she autos in the fight 13 times, with Trinity Force proccing four, 4 times, she would deal approximately 2,473.95 damage in these 13 autos. Ravenous Hydra would be 25 more bonus AD, and with the less attack speed, the amp damage with their abilities and autos would pretty much even out. But for not building the health, you will have 600 less HP, but you will have enough gold for Mercs or two Null Magic Mantle by the time you would have had Trinity Force. And you're still avoiding, by having the 600 less HP, this is basically only 100 HP, because you lose 500 of this just for them having Leandries. And so, just having the Mercs, you'd block 8% more damage. If the Kaz dealt 2,000 damage, your lifesteal and MR would mean that you would have the same damage, but actually 260 extra effective HP.